Hello beautiful earth angels, multi-dimensional beings, light warriors here incarnated into this 3D plane. Welcome back or hello if you're new to a channeled reading message for you guys. Today we're getting into a channel message that come through about a week ago or so and um, the downloads have just been clarifying and I've also had a lot of other messages to get through but it's now divine time that we bring this message, this channeling to the forefront of the light for you. It's all about how you're connected to the Fae and the fairy realms and this was really interesting as well because I did a reading um, a while back or a week ago or so, I'm going to link it down below about the unicorn pegasus frequencies and how you have a certain spirit guide working with you a unicorn guide who was helping you in certain ways and what i found really interesting is that in this channel message there happened to be a lot of synchronicities tied to the same frequency of energy and it made me realize you know yeah the the fairy realms that work with you is the same dimensional frequency as the unicorns and pegasus dimension so we're going to be getting into this a bit more um you know what they're doing with you what they're connected to and also there was a past life that came through for you guys that strongly connected you to this dimension of the fairy realms and the fey realms the unicorn realms that dimension okay so we're gonna get right into it you guys um I've got it wrote down here as usual, all the points that we've got to get through, all the information tied to this. So let's start and get into it. So you guys have very strong ties to the fairy realm of frequency, that frequency of dimensional plane. This also came through linked to many woodland spirit animals um, and pegasuses and unicorn spirits, like we said. Yeah, so a lot of spirit animals were coming through attached to this frequency too. The white deer, uh, wild horse energies. We've got a lot of woodland creatures such as hedgehogs, squirrels, um, things like that, like little woodland spirits. Foxes were very significant as well. And also a lot of bird spirits. But in general, you guys, woodland creatures was very strong, especially in the spirit type of realm in a sense that you have a lot of woodland creature spirits that are on your team that work with you that channel with you and it is reminding me everything's a synchronicity you know and i actually recently changed my bedding and um it's got a lot of oh look here we go rabbit very significant white rabbits or normal rabbits We've also got chamomile and raspberries on here and hedgehogs and uh, thorn and deer as well. So that's very significant for you guys. So um, yeah, so like we said, it was kind of linked to that unicorn channeling because some of the crystals I got through were the same. Some of the, you know, uh, yes, because it was bringing through this energy, right, in this message, in this reading about the Fae realms, how they were coming through for you guys was a very, um, it was surrounding a very empathic energy. It was surrounding your empathic abilities and the way that they kept um, coming through as well. They were putting this picture in my mind's eye. You know, when I channel, sometimes we get pictures in the mind's eye to help with the message. And quite that happened quite a lot with this message. So in my mind's eye, I was seeing this fairy from the Winx Club. But this is from the new series on Netflix, the human version of it. But the original could be relevant too. But it was the fairy with the purple eyes. And this fairy in, in that Winx Club is the mind fairy, the empath fairy, the one that has telepathic abilities. And in it too, she can also at points take pain away from others and channel it into herself. Like it's very interesting how it was coming through linked to your empathic, telepathic abilities, uh, energy perception abilities, because that's exactly what that unicorn spirit seemed to be working with you. Uh, with so I go into a bit more detail in that in the other reading so for in general in this one I thought I would just touch upon the fact that these fairy realms really work with you in that empathic type of sense of yours so they were coming through connected with this energy of really loving 
loving, soothing, gentle, pastel and sweet motherly energy, like really strong motherly energy, this dimension of beings, these fairy realm beings were coming through with very sweet, very gentle, very caring, very nurturing. And I was also getting certain like tastes and things come through. And it was like strawberries, peaches and cream, milk and honey, very soothing and, and healing type of frequencies, very soft and caring. They're closely connected to trees and tree spirit energies and this was also a significant part of this message and channeling was how connected these fairy realms and frequencies are connected to spe tree spirit energies. So opening portals within the trees highly electrically charged energy and aura because so so they were actually teaching me a bit about trees this fairy realm that was coming through and they were saying how you know trees anchor their roots into the energy grids of the earth and they're almost like fountains they kept putting pictures in my head of them being fountains of life force energy in a way that if we look at trees as not solid but energy form they're kind of uh, pulling up the water or the electric current from the ground. They're pulling it up and dispersing it out through their branches, almost like a waterfall of energy flow. And in my mind's eye, it looks like a kind of icy blue um, electric currents going through these trees. Some of you could actually see trees that way in their energetic form or something like that, you know. Um, but yeah, trees are very much bringing out these electric frequencies directly from the grid of Mother Gaia and the Earth and, and charging up the space around them. So it was very significant because of this, they have a very high vibrational frequency in their auric field around these trees. And the fairy realms use this high vibrational frequency to be able to reside there underneath these trees, around these trees to charge them up. And they also open portals there so the portals they open are gateways to their frequency of dimension. Let's get into this a bit deeper. So, do, do, do. Yeah, so you're closely connected to trees and to nature. And I was seeing someone with their hand on a tree. I was seeing someone admiring a tree, tuning into their frequencies, like really in awe about a tree. I was seeing somebody hugging a tree. And I was also seeing somebody sitting by a tree. Okay, maybe listening to music in meditation, in reflection, or also doing something creative, like playing an instrument or doing art. Um, so this tunes you into their frequencies too, and the energy pocket portals they hold within their aura. So which fairies use these higher energies, um, and these pockets of energy too, to kind of come in and out between the realms of their dimension and this dimension within these forests and these trees. You know, there's certain places where these fairies can reside in the physical realm because of how highly charged the frequencies of energy are in those places around those trees and in those forests. So I'm seeing you guys connecting with fairy spirits from a young, young age because of this, because of this fact of you being connected to nature or to trees or to something like that, you could have grown up or been uh, connected to nature in a way that you were around it a lot when you were younger, or you liked walking in it, or you liked exploring in it. I was also getting uh, through fairy mushroom circles or mushroom logs, like logs with mushrooms growing on them, that could have been significantly attached to some fairy frequencies that you've connected with. I was also getting through certain trees, right? Um, this was old oak trees, cedar trees was a especially significant one. And after I got this channeling about these trees, like the cedar tree, I went on Instagram and a video just popped up at the top of my feed and it was someone connecting electric, uh, you know those machines that convert tree or plant frequencies into sounds? They were doing it on this ancient cedar tree, like a very old, old, old tree. And that's the energy coming through is of this very old tree energy spirit you guys are connected to many trees many forests but there's a certain tree that you've come into contact with maybe when you were younger or maybe this was recently or something it's a very ancient old 
tree like of hundreds of years it's a very big has a very big tree trunk and it could have been one of these trees i'm about to list like an old oak tree a cedar tree a pine tree it could have been a redwood a maple or a willow and willow was extremely significant and extremely powerful it could have been a tree that i've not named but these were the ones coming through very strongly and i say this because uh, the fairy realms, they kept putting images in my head of when I was younger, being around um, Sherwood Forest, I think it's called that, where Robin Hood used to go, and there's this tree there uh, that is literally like supported right now, because it's so old, but it's so big, it's like a massive tree, and there's like a certain tree that you've been around that's very old or very big, and it has certain frequencies around it that you connected with by being in its space and that connected with you in a sense that it activated those frequencies within you as well and this is why I say some of you you've been connected to fairies from a very young age because you've been in pockets and energy spaces where they've been able to get in contact with you or attach to your energy in some type of way okay so there's actually many high energy pockets or portals in forests that have activated your energy walking through them or that you've connected with I'm also seeing like a ring of trees or like a triangle of trees, like how in forest there's certain trees that look like they kind of connect together. And when you stand in these energy pockets, it's actually a highly charged space that's activating energies inside of you of that frequency, right? So you've walked through a lot of portals of activation within certain forests. Um, you could see fairies, unicorns, or creatures of this frequency in dreams or in your mind's eye or physically as well. Right, so you could have had dreams before connecting to these spirits or after these spirits kind of activated in your energy, these frequencies. Um, and how I was seeing this is actually being put in flashes of Im images of a dream I had when I was younger of um walking up to this willow tree a very old willow tree and obviously the the branches are kind of like curtains and you step through these curtains and there were so many fairies flying around in the in the inside of this tree and um lots of glowing lights also like uh fireflies fireflies were significant and also something about a door being on a tree or being inside of a tree and that that reminds me you guys i'll have to find it or put a picture of it up on the screen or something i have a deck that i'm seeing a card of it in my mind's eye that is so significant so i'll get that deck and put a picture up here right now or i'll go get that card throughout the reading and show you that as well so um what were we getting to yeah so you could have actually had dreams of these fairy realms connecting with them these spirits visiting you in dreams things like that or meditation and in your mind's eye it's also reminding me of these secret or sacred pockets in forests like a sacred space in a forest or a secret pocket in the forest or like a secret garden type of energy um like you could have had like you could explore a lot when you were younger make dens in forests or when you're older and it's like you like to go off the beaten trail in a bit in a sense that you find like these pockets of energy and spaces in the forest and that has been extremely powerful and activating to your energy right so now another thing that was coming through was that you could have visually seen their frequency of dimension in the astral realm too you could have connected to the frequency of the fairy realms the unicorn realms and as you connect to this frequency like we say in other readings the longer you connect to that frequency the more that it starts to picturize and condense into your senses the more you start to see visuals of this so some of you could have actually seen the frequency of dimension of this fairy realm so um how it was coming through was very soft energies and the sky was like a sunset of yellow peaches oranges and pinks or there was a lot of pink and orangey clouds very warm energy but quiet energy like silent like very serene and peaceful as if you're in like a meadow on a summer's day is how this felt but a lot of beautiful color hues in this space and place and there's a lot of rose quartz like big rose quartz chunks just around everywhere so rose quartz could be significant for you guys i actually wrote down a list oh it's right here yeah, I actually wrote down a list of crystals that were coming through that are connected to the same frequencies of this dimension that can help you when working with them unlock these frequencies as well. So that you've probably already done and that's why they're coming up. 
So, um, yeah, so you, so you could be seeing this frequency of dimension two in the astral space. So like we said in the unicorn reading, they're also connected to you through, yeah, frequencies of certain crystals, objects, colors, right? So colors I was getting through were light pink, pastels, like pastel blue, sage green, creams, golds, lilac, peaches, very soft color hues, like we were saying sunsets of pink and purple or peach. I'm also getting a lot of butterflies, white butterflies, orange butterflies, like all the colors of butterflies basically. Um, a lot of rainbow frequencies of light as well. So of course, like when rainbow frequencies come through your window or you notice them in your room or you're in your house, um, rainbow frequencies they're very strongly connected to or rainbows in general. Um, and these could be things that are synchronistic as well. Um, blossom trees are also coming through and water lilies or lotus flowers. Yeah, fairy symbolism such as statues, pictures or books. Some of you could have had, uh, like, <laughs> I've got a lot of fairy statues, but you could have had, uh, like, symbolism in this type of way that's charged up through objects. Um, and also, you could have had fairy books when you were younger or certain books that have pictures in of these. Right, crystals I was going through was quartz, rose quartz, snow quartz selenite, blue lace agate, desert rose, uh, I was getting that barcode quartz one and I'm pretty sure it's called Lumerian quartz, it has like the ridges, the barcodes on, that was, that was very powerful for someone watching, um, I was getting through sunstone, moonstone, pearl, amethyst and rainbow fluorite as well, there's probably other crystals that are connected too but you know we already got so many through, I was like okay, We'll stop here. There's we've got some main ones that if you did want to connect to this frequency, you know, and you already have some of these crystals, just holding these, sitting with these, or you know, maybe if you've been thinking, oh, I'd like some new crystals, like maybe getting one of these type of ones would be beneficial if you're looking to connect to these specific frequencies deeper. Okay, so now moving on to the next page. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is where we get into the past life, you guys, that was actually coming through, really connected to this. And this was a very, very interesting message. And it was a bit like at parts, okay? So there was an energy coming through of a pagan past life, okay? This pagan past life, it started very strongly hearing the word pagan. Like there was a pagan past life song was incarnated in and they would work with plants and trees and the forest to help the sick so using certain mushrooms certain herbs they collect things like that very connected to the forest and yeah you did help the sick in this past life for whoever this past life is for and you did a lot of work with the forest in this way um but what was really a shame or what was really coming through you guys is that there was a lot of controversy around the time period that they kept bringing through. It was 12th century time period. Again, this is connected to like that Robin Hood time period. And, and it's funny because it was coming through as very pagan. Like that's the word I kept hearing very much so was paganism. And you being somebody in this past life, you really followed that culture, religion and uh, rituals of them kind, that kind. And it was really a shame because there was a lot of controversy. I'm really being uh, very respectful about this because connecting with this past life energy was very emotional, makes me very emotional, even just talking about it now. So yeah, it's very, very deep, you guys, this past life. Um, so you'd help heal a lot of people, but there was a very, very strong controversy around this. And I was hearing that it was because of this time period you were in. And just to put it in the most respectful way possible, someone's soul that left that incarnation uh, passed under a tree, okay? Meaning they passed over, but in the tree's aura, which as we were just speaking about, the vibrational frequencies of trees are very sacred and special. And whoever passed in this lifetime passed underneath a very, very 
very sacred old ancient tree because of course you know people don't really you know connect to things like this they had no idea that trees are so powerful connected to the electric frequencies of the earth and how their aura has portals to those higher dimensional frequencies in them so I'm getting that, what a shame it was, but at the same time, you guys, it was like a little twist in fate because you passed underneath this this uh, tree that was sacred and it was actually a fairy tree. And as your soul passed, because of the frequencies that were around it, you transcended straight away into the fate dimensional realms, into these unicorn dimensions, this dimensional space. And as you passed, you actually spent some time here in this dimension. And that's why I say some of you could have strong vision of this dimension because you have actually been there before in spirit form and you connected to a lot of unicorn pegasus beings and fairy beings when you passed into this dimension and these are beings that are very like soul family to you it feels like family and they followed you and protect you in this incarnation i was just seeing big streaks of rainbow light um over near my door and lots of glitter and there's something attached to bells or chimes or wind chimes as well but bells um and and it's also bringing through like blue bells snowdrops lily of the valley like flowers that look like bells um so yeah how funny that um there was a lot of controversy and that was such a shame but at the same time you passed into a frequency of dimension that was highly charged under this tree of portal energy and how you connected to a lot of fae spirits and fairy realm spirits because of this and because of this they follow you closely in this incarnation in life too so yeah i just want to take a minute for that because i take that very seriously i felt this past life very strongly and um, yeah, I just want to pay a lot of energetic respects to whoever this past life is connected to, to you guys, because um, yeah, such a sentimental story and journey. Right, so other relevances to this reading uh, that you could have around your space or that you've connected to or collected from forests, things like conkers, pine cones, certain leaves that you've kept, acorns. Um, and there was also other birds coming through like herons, cranes, egrets, white doves, uh, peacocks and pheasants as well. So you guys feel at your home familiar frequencies in and around nature, which I think is really, really beautiful. Um, a really beautiful energy, you know, you feel at home around in and around nature because it's the frequencies of that energy that you resonate with. So yeah, to summarize this reading, you're connected to the fairy realms, the unicorn spirits, Pegasus spirits, and, and it's different because you have a very strong soul tie to them because it's almost like you have strong energetic cords to certain beings of this dimension because of how closely you connected with them, not only in your lifetime living of working with those certain frequency plants, herbs and healing frequencies, but because you also passed into that dimension too before reincarnating again. And uh, you have a lot of those spirits who are still um, protecting you, watching over you and loving you. Um, from those frequencies that you've reconnected with as well as you've been in forests and around these energy portals in this lifetime too. Um, very protected, very motherly energy coming through of them. Very nurturing, very loving, very soothing. Uh, you know, they, it's this energy of comfort that they bring through. Deep comfort, deep love, deep feelings of being held and protected. So really really beautiful i hope that this brought some clarity confirmation for you guys in some way shape or form again like we say you have the power to connect with trees the tree frequencies and the portals that reside there um i was also seeing someone being near a brook or a, a river or a lake or a pond within a forest and, and this forest could specifically have old trees in it as well also a tree i forgot to mention was the yew tree uh, the yew tree that is very important too. Um, and yeah, the tree of life. So, all right, that's where we're going to leave the reading. I love you so much and I can't wait to speak to you all in the next reading. Mwah.